so um hi everybody once more uh, we are going to be looking into um uh, automation in um uh cinematic engineering instead of on real engine um it is of course no doubt that um if you are a, a cinematic engineer in on real engine you definitely need to have um, some degree of automation in your workspace um, this video is just going to be a follow-up of uh, the previous video that I've made automation is a very important part of that process and uh, which is what I'm advising every engineer in several way engine in as much as you are in the cinematic and um, uh, department I think it's something you should be considering very 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 highly um, to look into so this is not just this is just blank um, editor so I'm going to bring in um, a blueprint that I just you know um, add some assets into so I'm dropping this in here so uh, out, out of the bed this is just what it looks like and the good thing about this is the configuration is just awesome so um it came blank so i had to add all these assets just add the buildings add all of the, the trees and all of that so out of the box this is just how the whole thing looks like um so but now you have if you check on my details panel right here you have um a couple of uh what you have a couple of uh, um options to play with so right now if I go down this is just like a small you know small city and, and of course anybody can anybody can put this together because how many buildings are here just say what um let me check in my outline now uh, this is just like uh, what um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is probably like 15 or 16 buildings in here but i mean anybody can do this but imagine that the say the 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 the, the, the client says that they want to have a massive village the, it's going to be an area shot so the, it's going to be on like an uh, like an extab they want to extab Zimbabwe, you know, like a countryside in Zimbabwe, or in, uh, say, what in Ghana, or in Ambazonia, or in wherever, in, in Cameroon, wherever Nigeria, they need to establish this kind of, you know, African setting, you know, in the project. So how are you gonna approach that? You don't want to start thinking of the fact that you go and start putting one building after the other, bra. It's gonna be a two months thing for you to do, it, for it to look good. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll go into my blueprint. I just go into the distribution to my area, my scatter area. I'll just go ahead and probably increase my space from ten thousand. I'll make it to say what uh, sixty thousand. So that's my size. You look at it right now. It spread the whole thing all the way along this line. Look at that. So we have that long mass now, and with that, that's just on the um, the x-axis. So I'll go on my y-axis. I'm gonna put the same thing, sixty thousand. And if you look at it right now, you see I just have this is more like a safari. It's like I just created a safari. Buildings are scattered everywhere. Like it's a whole distance from one house to the next. It's like a whole drive or walk or horse ride or whatever you wanna call it. And but now I want to go ahead now and populate this whole place massively. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna just go in here and I put say what 500. See what happens? It just generated 500 more buildings randomly, and that is not what the clan wants. The clan wants they really want it dense, so I'm gonna make it 2,000. See what happens? So it just generated more buildings in the whole place. So that's like a massive village. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it say what 4,000. See what happens? So now this is like a whole village. Like no jokes. This is like a whole village. Look at that. So we have a whole village across 
so um, there is no way you will want to see that you can be doing this by hand like forget it like I'm not hiring you like bro just get out there's no way so um, this is where automation comes into play and it's not like it's just randomly generated with some low some low poly some low mesh thing it's actually on the same high quality that you can see that right and the good news about it is that all these things have been compressed and converted into Nanite so if I switch into um, my Nanite into Nanite and go all the way to triangles guess what this is all um, Nanite uh, meshes that's why it's very very friendly um, with a computer so you don't really have to have like a massive powerful computer uh, well even though what I'm working on right down this this system is um, well it's a little it's a little a little giant because this is the 4090 um, G uh, uh, RTX 4090 and uh, I have um, say a 500 512 512 gig of RAM on it so it's handling the thing pretty decent. But I tried this on one of our one of our our 30 um, 30 uh, 3090s with um, 60. I also tried the one of our 3090s with a 128 gig. I tried one of our 3080, 3080 with the 32 gig. It still runs very smoothly. So it's uh, it's very friendly um, with. Uh, uh, PC power so this is just uh, what 4,000 if I want to make it 6,000 let's see what happens I'm gonna push this to the max okay look at that now it's getting crazy right so this is six uh, half 6,000 um, um, buildings in here you know buildings hurts and everything so that's 6,000 of them in there so um, just imagine that you you were not doing automation like how on earth do you want to, do you want to start with this so let's go somewhere up and then change it change the point of uh, where you look at switch that to there's an option here that just says you can switch it to look at why see what's going to happen all right i think what happens when you switch to that is it kind of it kind of form a circle or every um, 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 every uh, structure kind of start facing towards the center. You might not really see that on these because the hurts they have rounded tops. But take a look at the um, the, the, the the small buildings, the square roof buildings. Um, you will realize that they're kind of forming like a pattern, like a circular pattern. I don't know if, you, if I don't know if you can notice that. But it's kind of forming a circular pattern, you know, everything they're looking towards the center right here. So I'm just switch this back, switch this back real quick. You see how it's gonna adjust itself. You see that now they're facing randomly. So it is one of the cool features that um that comes with this whole um blueprint system. And then look at that, see how big and grandiose this whole thing is looking. And now one more good thing is on it again is that you have the options of doing seeding, you know. Um, you can go into the seed and just put. I want to have like a two. It's just, just going to randomly change it to something else. Look at that. So it just changed the whole thing into some other structure. See that? Look at that. So it just changed. So you can go ahead and change this to say what three. Go change it. See that? It just randomizes the whole thing. So at this point. If you um you know you can actually come down right here with your player and uh, and uh, kind of go down all the way down 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 the player and you're walking through the village you are gonna be seen and enjoying this natural beauty that you cannot find it anywhere else in the world if it's not in Africa um ah man I miss home ah, look at that. Uh, you can see these nice buildings, these nice um, things, you know, just, just things that you can't find them elsewhere. You know, for some reason, it's, it's, it's only it's only in Africa, like man. Ah, man. Just imagine that this was like real, you know, like you're walking, or you just gotta 
while you're driving a little vehicle across the street and you're looking at all of these beautiful structures you know kind of you know what I'm saying like it really it looks so nice like it's so beautiful so at this point all we can do from here is just to do you cannot go in and tweak it now start bringing some do, do some props that you want to you want to add them you know manually but as of as of the foundation you have the whole thing set up now you can now go into again the same in, inside this pack um we have some um we have some blueprint fence that you can actually uh, say um, probably i have like a just have this little set of line of woods where i can just drop it here like so look at that i can just drop this here and uh, if i copy this into this other spot look at it the more as i'm moving this it's kind of randomly changing things look at that look at that it's not the same no let me just pull it bring this one that's kind of like the same thing uh, uh, look at that for example this is just some uh, this looks more like a, you know those old those things where they, they just keep in front of the in front of grandma's house where um, you know and it's actually a spline so what we can do is we can actually go and just hold hold this end of it and just drag that out see that you can like it just drag that out it's like supporting these two buildings like right there like so um so if i go all the way down you see that um it kind of looks really really cultural you see that it's really cultural i say for example this is where my scene is i'm going to shoot my actors on green screen and i'm going to superimpose them on here and it's going to be as realistic as you can even understand but this ground the, the floor is not going to be this way of course we're going to go into the landscape and switch that to like real ground so you can be um, can be real so um so i can go in and then just bring up um say bring in my fence just come here so i can drop a fence right here um so this is again automation this is again automation i i there's no i just don't know how i can i, I can emphasize on this point for every single person that is I'm doing and designs and environmental development inside of the engine. You cannot go past it. Like you can't. So um, you cannot go forward without you know getting to all of these things. So that's what I want to say. Oh, my bad. So here I'm gonna just go ahead and hold on one second. Just pick this, pick this guy and then just shift it here. Right. Let's just say for example, I want to just um, um make like a big fence. I want to. Create like a barrier between these two, so I'm just gonna make that big. Then get into my game mode. Just get here and just drag this out. So see what happens. Like this is where the whole thing gets so interesting. See as I'm dragging, it's just it's just developing. It's just building the fence for you and um, kind of just you know what I'm saying. Just probably uh, probably we just wanna have it come across this way. Like they wanna separate these two neighbors. They wanna separate their um, property. Um, you know like this is how it's gonna be and you can just come at this point probably just make like a little turn right here you know that you're keeping an exit you know like a little exit if you've been to Africa oh my god you know you understand exactly what I'm saying right here but um if you've not been there then no worries you're still in good hands um but I see you're missing something <laughs> so um yeah so just make this Big a little, like, let's make it big a little, like so, and uh, hold the tail of it this way, and we'll just bring it this way, and kind of lock it with this one here, like so. And maybe this is part of the other person's um, property. They don't, they don't want to have some conflict, and they just what I want to do what just cut it this way, and then you know uh, probably this tree is part of them this way, and you can just go ahead and pull it that way. And go ahead and pull it this way, and that that building, the house right there, is part of them. So you just lock it right there. So this is gonna look like what well, is this grandma's compound? You know what I'm saying? And on the other side of grandma's compound, right here, you can you can as well now just go ahead and have a um, like a uh, say just have like a, another small thing to right here that just separates it from. From the neighbors you know back in Africa there's a you know the people just want peace so um, it's always but normal for you to see people just building these fences around their hood 
uh, separating things just just so that you know sometimes they keep animals they don't want their probably their, their nice looking pigeon or fowl you know to cross to the neighbor and you know, the same like everywhere people don't want one when you be letting your animals come into their property so yeah pretty much that's what that's what is that the whole system look like so let's just see how out of how many seconds how many minutes we just designed to imagine that you had to do these um piece by piece that was that was gonna be so much time <sighs> once more thank you again for watching um this is dexter brains and if you have not um, subscribed to my youtube channel this is gonna be on youtube as well so please go ahead and subscribe for more content if you're not if you're not following me on instagram please go ahead and follow me on instagram for a lot a lot of content and development creations um on instagram i'm dexter underscore brains underscore verified um